Hello friends, welcome to the first ever lecture of uh, Make Mechanical Simple. So today we are going to discuss a simple topic from the subject of mechanics of solids uh, based on the principle of superposition. So this comes under the first module of KTU syllabus. Uh, so I hope all of you know what is the principle of superposition. So before that, let me tell you one thing. So my lecture is based on the assumption that you already know these things like what is stress, what is strain, what is deformation and what is the equation for the same. What is the equation for deformation? The equation for deformation is uh, delta L is equal to PL by AE. So I hope all of you know already, already these things. So if you don't know, just go and refer and come back. Okay? So, so today we are going to discuss or work out a simple problem based on the principle of superposition. See, first of all, you have to clearly understand the question. Uh, before moving into working out, you have to clearly understand the question. See, here we have a varying cross section shaft subjected to loads at different sections. See, here we have a 10 kN load, here we have a 40 kN load, here we have a 50 kN load and here we have a 20 kN load. And it's each section's length is given like 200, 600, 200 and its areas are also given and the material's Young's modulus is also given. So these are the data given. And we are asked to find out, we are asked to find out what is the deformation. That is, we have to find out what is delta L or what is the total deformation. We know from the equation of deformation, we can simply find if we have only this part and a simple tension, tension load is applying here, applied here, then we can easily find out the deformation from using the equation of delta L, that is PL by E. Now, here the case is different. Here we have different loads are acting at the outer edges and at the intermediate sections and their magnitudes are also different. And the cross-sectional area is different at different sections. So we don't have to worry about this. So only thing is, what is what is uh, principle of superposition saying? Principle of superposition saying, if we have a case like this, we can determine the deformations of individual sections separately, and we can simply add that. Okay. So what we are going to do is we have to find out the deformation of all these sections individually. That is section AB, section BC, and section CD separately, and we have to just club it. That's it. So then we will get the total deformation. So for finding the deformation in the section AB, we should know what is the, what, what would be the load acting, effective load acting in this section. Similarly, what, what would be the effective load acting in this section BC? What would be the effective load acting in this section CD? So the, the major step in this problem is to determine what are the load load shared by each of these sections? What are the load shared by each of these sections separately? So that is the first step for solving or the major step of solving this problem. Okay? So it's very simple. What you have to do is you have to split up the section into three regions like this. So So you have to split, just draw the uh, sections directly below this. Now, so to find out the loads shared by each section, we, we can either start from the left side or from the right side. I usually start from the left side. Okay. So what you will do is, see left side the resultant force is 10 kN towards the left. So it is 10 kN. If it is the load acting with it, the same load will come here. Okay. So if it is 10 kN, it will be tensile on So here also it will be tensile in nature. So this section, the nature of the load is tensile. Now solving the intermediate sections like this. 
this is that is very important see here we have a 10 kilo newton towards the right now actually we need a 40 kilo newton this is the resultant or the required load towards the right we need 40 kilo newton but we need we have only 10 kilo newton towards the right so what you can do you can simply add a 30 kilo newton towards the right 30 kilo newton towards the right now 30 plus 10 we have 40 kilo newton very simple right now here the natural loading is compression so if it if it is compression here here also it will be compression so now we have got a 30 kilo newton 30 kilo newton load here that is towards the left here we have a 50 kilo newton load towards the left that is a resultant load okay we have got a load 50 kilo newton on towards the left okay so 30 50 again, how much load we need required? We, we need another 20 kilo newton towards the left. So that is 20 kilo newton. So this, this is tensile in nature. So here also it will be tension. 20 kilo newton. So very interesting thing is after solving this, you will exactly get what is the load acting here. That means what you have done is right. Okay, if you are not getting this, something is wrong. When you are solving this, something is wrong. Okay, so this is the major portion. Okay. Now, now the problem is almost solved. What you have to do? You have to simply apply the equation of superposing principle. Delta L. Here we have anything common. Here we have area is different. Loads are different. Lengths are different. So, we can only take outside E. Hence modulus we can take outside and the remaining three terms like P1 L1 divided by A1 plus P2 L2 divided by A2 plus P3 L3 divided by A3. So this is the superposition principle. Simply adding the what you are doing here, simply adding the deformations of the individual sections. Algebraic sum of the deformations of the individual sections will be the total deformation of the uh, bar. So, what is here P1? P1 is 10 kN. What is the P2 here? 30 kN. What is P3 here? 20 kN. Lines are given, areas are given. Just substitute and find out the total deformation. But here you have to take care of one thing. Uh, see here in the first section we have tension and third section also we have tension but in the in the uh, middle section that is section bc we have compression the nature of the loading is compression so you have to put a negative sign here instead of a positive sign this is very important okay this is very important you have to put a negative sign instead of a positive sign so whenever compression is the nature of the load you put a negative sign because here length is increasing, here length is decreasing. That's why. Okay. So now just you have to substitute the values, find out the answer. I'm not doing that. I hope you can do it. So I hope you understand this concept of uh, superposition and splitting and finding out the loads in individual section separately. That is a very important part. Uh, so I hope you uh, like my video. If you have any doubt related to this topic, you can write it down in the comment box.